All right, still trending tonight, the world's highest paid woman athlete, Naomi Osaka, is hanging up her tennis racket for now. The 23-year-old was fined $15,000 for skipping her post-win press conference at the French Open. And she has since announced on Twitter that she's going to be taking time away from the sport, citing bouts of depression and social anxiety that she's had since the 2018 U.S. Open. So now everyone from Serena Williams to fans on Twitter are expressing their support for the tennis star. And it's kickstarted a really important conversation about boundaries and how you can take care of your own mental health because you don't have to be a superstar athlete to have these sorts of problems or be able to talk about them and get some help. So we've brought in an expert to talk about how this can apply in all of our lives. Dr. Christine Greer O'Connor is a clinical social worker and therapist, as well as founder of the locally based Quarter Life Center. So thanks so much for coming on with us. I, I, I want to apply what's happening here to all of us coming out of the pandemic and the challenges that we're facing, heading back into the office, taking on new projects. There can be a lot of social obligations and social anxiety that we haven't had to deal with in the better part of a year. So how do you know that you can actually take it on? How do you know if you might need to step back and say, hey, I, I might need some help or I might need a little more time with this? Yeah, great question. And I'm really glad to be talking about this. I mean, we've seen the, the pandemic has really taken a toll on the mental health of so many people. And, and one of the major factors in that has been social isolation as we were social distancing and quarantining. Um, you know, and you've seen probably the memes of uh, introverts saying this was great, right? They got to stay in. Um, but for many people, um, especially those who already had social anxiety, this has only exacerbated that. Um, and it's making it harder for people, I think, to, to re-enter the workplace, um, not on Zoom, but, but in person, for people to go back to college campuses, um, people go, you know, the kids to go back to school. Um, and, and for, for people to be socializing with each other in person again. I know, you know, we're, many of us are excited to be doing that, but at the same time, like, we, we haven't done it for almost a year and a half, and um, I think it's going to take some, some transition time for people to really get more comfortable with it. What's some advice? If somebody is dreading heading back to the office and, and doing this, what are some things that you can tell them to help them maybe get over that? So one of the things that we really encourage our clients to do uh, is self-care. And I know you probably have been hearing that a lot, but, but really doing a self-assessment, checking in with yourself, checking in with what your physical needs are and your emotional needs. Um, and, and really looking at even like your basic physical needs, which can sound so silly sometimes, but you know, are you, are you hydrating enough? Are you getting enough sleep? Right. Um, are you exercising, getting the nutrition you need? And, and then are you getting the social support you need? And if you're not, start reaching out to, to do those things. Yeah, all right, very good advice, Dr. O'Connor. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you coming on with us tonight.